Hello and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. This is the soon as I could get my hands on this doll, I bought it, um, which is Barbie Spy Squad doll. Um, I bought it at Argos. First of all, can I just say I'm so glad that Barbie has started doing slightly more interesting doll designs in terms of she's not just a princess, finally. I mean, yeah, we've had superhero, now we've got spy, which I'm super happy about. I mean, here's the box. Um, it's kind of got a bit of a uh, comic book vibe going on, I thought. Um, it's got kind of like dynamic angles, which kind of looks like the top of a building or something. Um, the artwork on the front is quite cool. It's kind of reminiscent also of a comic strip. Um, uh, there's a picture of what looks like a jewel thief in the background. The doll's there, you can see what she can do on the sides, but we'll investigate that later. Um, then on the back, we've got a big picture of her doing cartwheels, which is apparently one of the features of the doll, um, and some stills from the movie, and it says DVD coming out in 2016, and there's pictures of them in Spies, and her, oh god, is that her as a princess, oh my god, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, Okay, so here she is, out of the box, um, Barbie Spy Squad doll with her little tool, um, which you use to make her do backflips, which I'll show you in a minute. I like this doll a lot, um, I'm so happy that Barbie's doing something slightly more exciting. She's got, um, articulation in the, uh, shoulders and in the elbow and in the wrist, which I always really like it when they put the articulation in the wrist as well. Um, and she's got articulated legs, she's got nice simple makeup, a cool pink streak in her hair to match her pink jacket. Her jacket's really cool, it's like a long trench coat and it's got sparkles on the front. And then if I take the jacket off, this is what she looks like, which I think is rather cool. Um, she's got like a kind of skin tight jumpsuit on. It does really, really frustrate me when they don't make the clothes out of material and just paint it onto her body. I think it looks really cheap, but um, uh, in this case, I like it a little more. Um, she's got a cool kind of rubbery skirt on, um, lots of detail in the shoes. She, she really looks like an action hero, which I think is really cool. Yeah, she looks like she could actually fight crime, which I think is awesome. And then on the back, as you can see, she's got a little place where you, it kind of rotates like that and you can connect the tool which she uses to do her acrobatic moves on. So it's really simple to use this doll, after you've snapped it into place, you can just move it along and as you can see, oh that's quite cool, see? She does forward flips, um, like she's trying to um, <laughs> do back flips through lasers and then if you turn her to the side, um, she can do cartwheels, like that. And it works really well, because sometimes these dolls don't always do what they're meant to do perfectly, but this one does it quite well. So that is my Barbie Spy Squad doll. Um, please let me know in the comments what you thought of my review. Um, if you have the doll, what you think of the doll. Um, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye!